welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 92 Rey Mysterio and Scarlet figures. Now, I thought about doing Rick and Rey together and then Scarlet and Charlotte together. That's kind of weird. Rick and Rey, Scarlet and Charlotte. I kind of like Scarlet and Charlotte. That just kind of rolls off the tongue there. However, I was going to do those together, but I figured a lot of you probably wouldn't want to see Scarlet and Charlotte together. There it is again. So we're going to do Rey and Scarlet together. I think this should be pretty nice. I'm interested to see how Scarlet's things go with like her spikes and the double jointedness, how she feels in the hand. And then Rey Mysterio with this alternate gear. How well is it? How good is it? Is it as good as the top picks? No. But we'll find out together. It's not, I promise. But here's the two in the front packaging. You got Scarlet here and Rey over here. I still don't think this head sculpt looks anything like Scarlet, but we will get into it. I think it just needs an eye repaint or something. On the side, you do get the same image of the two talents here. On the back, you get the images of the guys. And then the little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. On the side you get Rey Mysterio and Scarlet there and then you have Rey and Scarlet up front yet again. Now I will say I'm already sick of this packaging. I, I think it's just like this blue color that's always going on. I think it'd be cool to see them change the color here and there. I, I mean I know they're not now but I think like in Elite Series 100 if they were to do like a white box in this style packaging with like gold and black accents would be really sick. I don't think they'll do a big gold foil packaging just because of AEW figures but I think they would do like a big white packaging like real nice and flat with a nice sheen to it with some black and gold details going on. I think that would be really, really sick. So hopefully we get something cool for Elite 100. But with all those things being said, man, let's shut the hell up and crack these guys out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here's Scarlet and Rey Mysterio out of the packaging. Liking what we got going on, we do have some gripes, of course, across the board. We're always going to have, you know, I, I rarely see a perfect figure. I rarely ever see a perfect figure. It takes a lot. It takes a very whole lot. I mean, you know, you got to take it out of the packaging. You don't have, you got to get away with a great head sculpt, you know, no misprint. You got to get away with a great formula. You got to get away with, you know, no loosey, goosey, crazy joints. You got to get away with, with some wackiness, some articulation, some feel good in the hand. You got to come away with a lot of things. So very, very tough deal. But I like some things that we got going on. We're going to dive into all the details, of course. We're going to cover Rey Mysterio first, then Scarlet. I think that's the way to do things, of course. So we are, we are going to do all that. We're going to take a look at all their accessories like we always do here. But I am definitely interested to know what figure you like best. So leave me a comment down below right now on what your opinion is of the figure. Like the video. Leave me your opinions on the figures down below. And your name will be entered into a drawing. So there you go. Now for Rey Mysterio's accessories, I mean, we just get a plethora of stuff going on. Look at this. They gave us the same shirt that they always give us. Okay, I will be fair. It's not the exact same shirt. They usually give him that one with his mask silhouette on it. This one's actually different. It's got a navy color. I like the pink and greens going on. Very unique because this is not what his gear looks like whatsoever. It doesn't really, it clashes with his gear because there's so many different colors. But it's really cool. You got Booyak on there, 619. I see a Viva La Rasa on there. So that is pretty cool. But we've seen this shirt mold a hundred times on the back. There is nothing. And it's just this navy colorway. So, I, you know, I, I'd love to see a cloth shirt. I know they did that with, what, like Elite Series 1 or something. So I'd like to see the rubber go away, but uh, what are we going to do? And then for his interchangeable hands, he gets the Friday Night Smackdown intro grabby hands where he reaches out to the camera. I love that. But I like these hands. They're a very unique color. I feel like they clash really hard with the gear. And this is not the way these gloves look. He actually wore like Nike Vapor Jet gloves because I used to wear those gloves throughout my football career. He wore Nike Vapor Jet gloves. You can even see them on the back of the packaging and they look nothing like this. So maybe we need to repaint these hands or something. What is good everybody? This is Editing Trey and I will say that the gloves Gloves actually look just like them as far as the color. Like, after further analysis, I think they did a pretty good job on the color. I think the color matches the Vapor Jet gloves pretty good here. It's just missing all the white and black and Nike logos. I mean, the shade may be a little more on the reddish side, but I think overall they look pretty good. I want to paint these up now. I think that's pretty badass. This is not what they look like, and uh, this is a very, very, very saturated bright orangish red that I'm not very big fan of that kind of clashes with the, with the rest of the gear there. And he does have the fisted hands right there. So, you guys know Signature Ray hands. I'm going to try to find a different figure for these hands to go in, and we'll see if we can find something. Maybe his last Elite, or like the Elite 88, and put the black gloves in here. That'd be a cool switch, maybe on action figure surgery. Now, getting into Ray Mysterio, guys, starting out at the top of the head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt a million times since Elite Series 72. It may have even, I think it was Elite 72 we saw this head sculpt for the first time, but we've seen it in two top picks waves. This wave, the Elite 72, like I said. So, we've seen this figure quite a bit. We've seen this head sculpt quite a bit, and uh, we've seen this torso before as well. He does 
does have all his tattoo details going on, which I love. Very nice singlet torso. I like this torso. We've seen it on the Elite 89, I think. It was either Elite 88 or 89, that Ray with the blue, and then we had the top picks figure, of course. But, you know, all of the bells and whistles comes on the Ray Mysterio. You get the armbands, you get the gloves, you get the nice singlet, the nice attire, and all the things. But double jointed arms, which are beautiful. I, I like the armbands. I like that they don't have that brown color. You do have that brown color on the on the Ray right there, on the Ray logo coming up for the, the side right there. Coming down into the tights, you do get the black and orange, which is very Halloween-esque. It just has that Halloween look to it. Very weird brown color. I don't know why it went with the brown and orange. It's like the Cleveland Browns over here or something attire. But you do get greatest mask of all time. You got the nice stripe design. I do love the stripe design. I'll never get tired of the stripe design. I just think that the stripes look really, really clean. Ray 619, black boots. You guys know the deal. You got all the classic little decals. Like, Ray Mysterio is probably rocking some of the best gear in the business right now. And he'll it'll probably always been that, be that way. Ever since he came into WWE, ever, to, ever since he started wrestling, he's always just knocked it out of the park with his gears. But we've seen all this stuff before, right? I mean, the Rey Mysterio figures feel fantastic in the hand. That'll never change. It's just about what gear do they give us? Is it a good gear or not? That's going to make the basis of your Rays. But there is our Ray, And let's get into some Rey Mysterio figure comparisons. So for your Rey Mysterio figure comparisons, guys, you have the new Elite 92 here, the 2023 top picks, the Elite 72, the 2022 top picks, I think, or 2021. And then you have the Elite 88 slash 89. Never can't remember the series. But it's really cool to see all these up next to each other, man. It just shows you how often we get Rey Mysterios pumped out. They're pumped out a lot, and for good reason. I mean, he looks really cool in figure form. You got all the different variants. I mean, we're looking like the damn Power Rangers over here. You throw in the rest that we've gotten, and it's just a crazy collection that you could have. Not even to mention the basics. Dude has insane amounts of figures, but his elites totally destroy his basics, right? Like, it's not even close, but it is cool to see all these figures up next to each other. See the differences, but to me, the top pick stands among the rest. I do love this figure, but mine has a Lucy Goose torso, and I think the eye patch hurts it. I wish it didn't have the eye patch on there. Uh, I may do a head, try to find. I need another one of these, because like this one's like really, really loose, so I need to try and track down another Ray from Elite Series 88, 9, whatever the hell. I've said that multiple times. Let's move on. So for Scarlet's accessories, guys, you don't get a whole ton, right? You do get this hourglass, which is pretty cool, you know? Time is up, time is now. That's her gimmick. But I like this sculpt, you know? It's very unique. You got the nice black stand right there. You do have the hourglass. There's no, like, sand or anything that's in there, but I do like this, and it does uh, rotate, you know? It can go all the way around, you know? So you can flip it upside down. That's very nice. It's very crazy that you get these, like, one-off accessories that you'll never see again, but it is really cool. I do like it, and I like the sculpt to it and everything like that. It's it's a very nice piece. It can stand really well, and you can put this in your GM offices, your, your backstage setups. You can have her bring it out to the ring. I mean, there's a lot of cool things you need for an object. You can bust somebody over the head with it. So, this is really cool. I like this accessory. Now, outside of that, you also get interchangeable hands. These are her mic holding hands or weapon wielding hands, and the way they did this is so cool, man. They made like her hand like this rubbery material, and the way that it's this rubber material allows her fingers to be flexed, and she can like, like, they don't come apart, unfortunately, but they can, you know, they're, they're rubberized. Like, they have the spikes on there. They're really cool. I like this a lot, the way they did that. Now, I don't want this on all my hands, but for these specific ones with, like, the spikes on them and make it, like, they would be very brittle and easy to break, I think. So, that's why they made them that way. But I like the mic holding hands. Outside of that, she has her Catwoman slash Insidious fingers, is what I call them, because the monster or the demon and Insidious hands kind of look like this. But you guys can say they're all flimsy. And, uh, I like these a lot. I think they're really cool. Again, the whole hand is almost like a rubber material and they're very flimsy. That way, you know, you don't stab your face offs because you guys can see the sharpness but they made it rubber so that it will not stab you in the face so that's pretty cool right there i like that very unique and i like the wide open hand better you know but uh that's very cool very very unique and that is scarlet's accessories so getting into scarlet man starting out at the top of the head sculpt you guys will notice that my little bandana crown deal actually fell off of my scarlet's head and i i just had it a second ago now i've lost it again okay yeah so i tried to reattach it and it wouldn't really go in there so be careful when you're doing that i'm gonna either have to glue this or head swap it or do something else. So that sucks. The crown totally popped off here. But I don't really see Scarlet, man. I think that the eyes need to be repainted in some way. I think that would do wonders for this figure. I'm going to attempt it maybe later today. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff going on with like a, a ton of different reviews we got to do. Tons of different rankings and thoughts videos. I also want to do some Royal Rumble stuff. So there's just a ton of stuff to get, you know, taken care of. So I don't know how on the pecking order this will be. And we have surgery coming up for Elite Series 92 and the rest. So we'll have to just cover these things as we 
we go. But going down into the torso, I do like the spikes. I love the, you know, the little flimsy spikes. Same as, uh, you know, same as her hand technology, the way she's got like these spikes and stuff going on, which is cool. I do like, you know, like the black leathery sort of body gear here with the spikes on. I think it's very unique. I like the double jointed arms. And again, we covered the hands. I like the figure a lot. I just think it's a really cool take on Scarlet. I just don't like the head sculpt. I don't think it looks anything like Scarlet. And I think that really hurts, you know, because I feel like Scarlet should have a pretty good head sculpt. So that, that's pretty disappointing. But you guys can see here, her articulation is limited. She doesn't really have an ab crunch whatsoever. She does have her black bottoms here. That's sort of like a onesie or a leotard-esque kind of deal. She does have the stocking going on right here. Got the thigh cut. You do get the ball joints, I think. Yeah, I think she is on ball joints. You got the double jointed knees here, pinless. She's got the nice sculpt over the knees. Kind of looks like knee pads, to be honest. So if you if you interchange these boots, look how like rockety that is, man. That is not going to last forever. She's going to be impossible to stand. So not only is this loose and the boot's kind of loose, but the ankle right there. Look at that. That is not good, so that kind of sucks. This one's a lot better. It's got a much better uh, grasp of it. This one doesn't really have one, so she's probably going to be a nightmare to stand up. Maybe we could do something on surgery or switch something out, but there's the Scarlet figure, and I do want to see what she looks like up next to Karrion Cross. and we do have her basic figures. So for your Scarlet comparisons, here is her basic and her chase. I don't remember which one was which. I think this is the regular. This was the chase. Neither of these really have the best head sculpts either. Like They never really captured Scarlet's likeness, in my opinion, but here she is up next to the Elite. 85 cross which we saw like 17 of at you know my local walmart probably need to go grab a couple more of those and a couple of those lives and stuff but i like the way these look up next to each other you got all the black gear and the menacing going on great head sculpt on cross and uh we need a, a great head sculpt on scarlet to match but it is cool to see all these up next to each other you know for your collections and you know displays and stuff like that and we do have another uh cross coming in elite series 93 i do uh, believe so that'll be insane as well if we even get it so we'll have to see about that but i think that's pretty much going to wrap up the two in one Rey mysterio and scarlet Elite Series 92 review. Overall thoughts on both is that they're both solid, like quality. I just think that they have their issues, you know? They have their issues. Like, Rey Mysterio, it's just a basic repaint of the top picks, and I love the top picks. The top picks is insane. I love the top picks, Rey. In the pink gear, it's undefeated. It's it's the best Rey, in my personal opinion. I think it's the best Rey they've ever made. This one is that figure, except repainted, but it's repainted kind of god-awful. Like, I don't really care for this gear. Very Halloween-esque, which I, I love Halloween. I'm, I'm probably the biggest Halloween fan you'll find it ever but this is not the this is not the deal for me i just i i think the the brown question marks is very weird and the brown on the mask i just think that it, maybe if that brown color was like silver or something it would have stood out a little bit more and the glove color compared to like the other oranges it's just an odd figure it's very odd i think there were so many more gears they could have done that would have been a lot better than this gear that they got for Rey mysterio it's the same repeated head sculpt and seeing that this is in the main elite line and not a top picks wave or something like that they need to pump out new head sculpts into the main elite line and i think if they use that other basic head that would have been a lot better the basic head that i keep talking about that i still don't have in hand once that makes it onto our elite figures the raven series are going to be even crazier i think we'll probably get elite ray and probably either elite 96 or 97 possibly 100 you guys know they love to pump out ray mysterio like he's just you know he's very toyetic so i wouldn't it wouldn't shock me but the figure feels phenomenal it's a ray mysterio the modern elite ray mysterios are undefeated like you could pose you could do five star bangers all day with those but the scarlet figure i don't like the way the head sculpt looks i don't think it's a good head sculpt i think that the uh, legs are very wobbly like the ankles are very wobbly they have those like maurice tall boots that you guys know are very difficult to stand and the again the head sculpt's not very good i do like the body suit like the i love the way the hands are how they're like soft goods and they're not super sharp i love that they have the double jointed arms i love the spike details she looks very menacing and stuff but at the end of the day she doesn't feel the best in hand and that's going to hurt her quality but i think she is a solid figure i do like the scarlet i just wish there were some things that were better about it and we're, we're probably going to try and fix that up on action figure surgery so stay tuned for all of those things i honestly kind of want to put ray mysterio boots on her just to see how what it comes of it but we'll we'll see all those things man that is going to wrap up the two-in-one review if you guys want to grab these go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there i would greatly appreciate it and uh i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so very much for watching let me know all your thoughts on the set down below so you can get your name in that drawing for a giveaway leave a like comment your thoughts on these figures down below and you yourself could also win win a prize but thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like ray mysterio's gear you cross the line i've been